Uh, thank you indeed, Sean Kohirlika uh, Ganushla. Can I say it's indeed a great honour and uh, pleasure uh, to be back here in Donegal for the finale and the culmination of your great week. Um, I spent many of my summers here in Killigordon and Ballybuffet, where my father comes from, and so it's great to be back here. Can I say this evening that my message is straightforward, and that is that the next president of this country must focus on the biggest challenge facing us at this time and that is of unemployment and of the need for significant job creation. That is why I want to put enterprise and job creation at the very heart of my presidency. For me, the focus must be on getting our people back to work. And I know when people talk about transformation and what can a president do to transform a country and what can a president do to build a new Ireland. It divides in two. The first is there is a job of work that we need to do at home. A president needs to serve the people here in this country. Breed a sense of confidence back into all of us, individually and collectively, into our communities. We need to build a sense of self-determination, which many of us grew up with in these rural areas where we had to fall back on our own necessity and invention to survive. It is that sense of self-determination that means our future will not happen to us. It will, in fact, be created by us. And a president can set that tone, a tone that moves beyond the focus on problems, on what's not working, but focuses more on what is working and acknowledges and recognizes that. A president who can change the conversation of the nation away from the problems to solutions, to possibilities, and to real options. And the President does have, then, a huge and important role, increasingly so, in repairing our international reputation. And so, when we look at the role of the President, we see that Presidents do not have policies. Presidents have themes. And if we look back at Mary Robinson, when she became President, her theme was about social inclusion, about Manon Heron, and about reaching out to our diaspora across the world. Mary McAleese, when she became president, her theme was about building bridges, north and south and east and west, culminating in the visit recently of Queen Elizabeth to our country. But more than she was building bridges, she was building peace on this island. And their themes were relevant because they were current and of their time. The focus of the next president, I believe, must be equally relevant and equally current. And that is about getting our people back to work, about putting enterprise, and about putting, more importantly, job creation at the heart of all that we do, front and center. It has to be about tackling the scourge of unemployment and coupled with that, the scourge of emigration. And it is not just an economic scourge, it is a human scourge that has a human cost. And as somebody who often shares their story, that I was more than twice unemployed in my life in the 80s, I know the cost that that has. And yet, like many of you, I had to reinvent myself, to go back to college and retrain. And I think Ireland is now at that crossroads where we too must reinvent ourselves as a nation. We all know the challenges that immigration place, particularly on rural communities such as this, where we are robbed of youth and we are robbed of vitality. But more importantly, as a country, we are robbed of the potential contribution that many of our people can make and that we need them to make in this country. And the only solution to unemployment and immigration is at the very heart of enterprise and job creation, because that's the only solution and community and enterprise are so inextricably linked because jobs in areas such as here in Glenties is the very glue that holds your community together, that keeps your local shops and outlets open, that keeps your petrol stations open, that sustains your primary and secondary schools, and that allows you to, to field your local football team. They are so inextricably linked. And yet, what can a president do? People say there is no executive function. I say, turn your mind back 14 years ago to when Mary McAleese became president. 
Nowhere in the Constitution does it say that a president has a role in peace building. And yet, based on her experience, her expertise and her background, that's exactly the mission and the theme that she led. I want to say that I want to use my background, my life experience and my work history to put enterprise front and centre. And I believe I can play a real role in transforming this country. I want to help build an entrepreneurial culture that creates and supports and nurtures small businesses that create jobs in areas such as Glenty's. I want to identify and nurture the export-led companies who can be brought on trade missions to the new and the developing markets. And I want not just at home to build enterprise, but to attract into this country foreign direct investment that creates not just the jobs themselves, but support jobs in every single part of this country. And also, I think it's an important message in electing a president who is an entrepreneur and understands job creation, that that's a symbolic message to send out, not just at home, but internationally, that we as a country are indeed open for business. My background is broad and it is diverse, starting in agriculture and farming. In becoming a professional youth and community worker, I understand the challenges facing our young people and of our communities. I was unemployed and I understand and empathize that there is no shame at this time. People had a job, but they are more than their job and they too can have a future. I've been in enterprise as a public servant with the county enterprise boards. I've led trade missions abroad. I've been an entrepreneur and I've created jobs. I've been working in the political system as a volunteer within the Fianna Fáil party. I've worked with Dr. Rory O'Hanlon as his political secretary. Recently, I've been involved in trying to bring legislation in association with Senator Fergal Quinn to support the very people who have lost their jobs and their livelihoods, thousands of subcontractors to introduce legislation to protect them. I know about disability because I've lived with it all my life. I have cataracts and I live with limited sight. And I say to the young people that I meet and work with who have a disability, when you're born, most people can do 10,000 things. I can do 9,000. I want to define my life by the 9,000 things I can do and not the 1,000 that I can't. And that's my message for Ireland. I want to be the president that focuses on the 9,000 things we can do and not the 1,000 that are not working. We have a great country and we are a strong and we are a proud people. And we have an entrepreneurial spirit that is second to none in this world. We have a bright and we have a talented and well-educated young population. We are creative and we are innovative. And all around this world, we are loved and we are respected. And what we need to do now, in the words of the proclamation of the 1916, is Ireland relying first on our own strength strikes in full confidence of victory. We need to find that strength again. We need to find that sense of self-belief and of that sense of self-determination that we can, in fact, shape our own destiny. In electing a president, in the next 12 weeks, we're electing someone to serve at home and to someone to project that new sense of confidence throughout the world. We're electing a voice and a face of Ireland of this time. Not just the Ireland that we want now to project around the world, but our ambition of the Ireland we want to see in the coming years. This is not about me. This is about all of us working together. Ireland isn't just an economy. It's not even one country. It's a collection of communities. And how will it be rebuilt? It will be rebuilt one business at a time and one community at a time. And who will do it? It will be all of us. All of us together will transform the future of this great, weak country we call Ireland. Thank you.